Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Alone Today podcast. Uh, my name is Joseph and I've got Anu here with me. Do you Hello. Want to Glad to have you join us this week. Uh, we have an interesting question from Kwame and he's writing in from Ghana asking this. So he says, I have this question on my mind and I want to know your thoughts about it and whether it is scripturally right or wrong. Myself and my wife-to-be, we've had a lot of discussion about our wedding day, especially the wedding night. But we do have this concern. Is it advisable for us to spend that special moment, in other words, our first time of having sex together, in the same bed that only God knows the number of people who have used, and for whatever purposes, kindly help out Mr. and Mrs. Ola. Thank you. First thoughts. First thought is that I did think the same thing. <laughs> yes. What kind of people are you? <laughs> I don't know. You can laugh, but when we went to Edinburgh, was it Edinburgh? We went to Holiday Inn after our wedding. Ivy's budget. Ivy's budget, rather. Is it different from Holiday Inn? Yeah, it's different. Oh, sorry. So I went to, uh, and, and I lay down the bed thinking, hmm, this bed, who has been on it? <laughs> it was a random thought. <laughs> So I, I know where Kwame is coming from. I know people out there be like, uh-uh, what are you thinking of bed when the deal is the deal? Mm-hmm. But I did think about it. So I reason I can imagine. I understand what Kwame is talking about. So over to you. So how were you able to make peace with whatever questions were in your mind? What, how were you able to still afford to sleep in that bed on that night? You will laugh, but I'll just say it anyways. Yeah, I don't so, mind. The way I was able to appease myself was, was, was to say, whatever they've done on the bed, at least there's a new bed spread and there's another bed protector, so it has covered all the filth in the bed. <laughs> so I'm actually lying, I'm lying down on the fresh lining, so it's a fresh start for oh me. I don't know how I was able to. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad I, 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 I never get to hear this conversation. I don't know if I told you, you would have laughed. That's how I was able to read isn't it out like yes i'm like on a fresh bed whatever fresh means it's all up to me in my mm-hmm. head but it's mm-hmm. fresh <laughs> yeah i mean that's this this is this is good question and i'm glad that um kwame is asking that i mean it shows that amongst other things himself and his fiance are mm-hmm. uh, doing a lot of talking mm. because of course to think about the wedding night i mean that's that's laudable but of course the the emphasis would actually be on also thinking about the marriage long term. The wedding night is just one night. The marriage is the real deal. Mm. But again, this is indeed a special moment, as Kwame puts it. And um, I think that it's actually inconsequential. I mean, mm. pff, a bed is a bed. Um, a hotel is a hotel. Mm. And indeed, you never can tell how many drama has happened in whatever hotel room you are, you are lodging in. And of course, the bed and every other piece of furniture. Um, in that room Uh, but i mean the picture that comes to mind for instance Mm. is when um elijah was contesting with the prophets of baal on mount camel okay and um, of course these prophets did all they could to get their gods to do whatever and respond to bring down fire on the hour nothing happened Mm. and then bible says in the evening when it was time for prayers Mm. elijah then gathered 12 stones together Mm. and you know made his own altar told them to drench it in water and all mm-hmm. that and eventually the the sacrifice of course God answered by fire and the, the point was made but where I'm going is those 12 stones did they have to be a particular kind of stones mm. um, I mean they just gathered 12 stones irrespective of the stories that might have been behind those stones yes. each of when those stones was used to, um, offer animals to an idol. I, I mean for him to have even gathered stones where the bad people, people are. are. <laughs> There's every chance that may, some of those stones could have also been, um, <coughs> you know, balized or baltified, oh, <laughs> um, in a manner of speaking. But of course, at the end of the day, it's not about the stones that makes the altar. Mm. It's about the sacrifice on the altar and the mm. God that Elijah has a relationship with. Mm. So in, in in any case, where I'm going is... <sighs> That special moment is less about the bed. Mm. It's more about the people on the bed um, and the nakedness and not ashamedness of the people on the bed. Um, but again, as simple as something like that is, I mean, you, you never can tell. Little things like this are capable of 
setting the wrong tone for a new marriage, I mean a new family. And so if it is seriously a bother, if it is something that both of you cannot fully come to terms to see the inconsequentialness of it, mm. then of course there are alternative ways out. Buy a new bed. <laughs> You don't have to go to a hotel on your wedding night. You Why can't. Why do they want to have a honeymoon? So you say they should go and have a honeymoon in their own house. Uh, they are not going to be the first to do that. But they want adventure. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Find a way to make it happen. Or order. Then go, you hotel go to, to order a new one. Go to the hotel and make an arrangement if you can. Like, is it possible to have a new bed, please? And, and 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 make that arrangement but of course i mean to be more realistic and and sincere if this is i don't want to trivial trivialize the question mm. if this is a bother for both of you why not if not to buy a brand new bed mm. that will be delivered to a place where you can spend that night or even possibly to your house mm. where you're going to be staying and starting your family from and know that you are enjoying everything in the chasteness and purity and perfectness of mm-hmm. the newness of the bed and the newness of the couple. But of course, if I want to poke holes on that ideology, then I will start asking you, how well do you know the kind of people that have handled this same bed from the production line till when it gets to the warehouse, from the warehouse to the van, from the van to when it gets delivered mm. in the shop where you went to buy it, and then from there to your house. Mm. A bunch of sinners have touched it here and there. Does that make the bed so unholy mm. that the holiness of both of you standing on it is not enough to still present to God a blissful, worshipful act of marriage mm. on that first wedding night? I still think, again, it's inconsequential. Yeah. What do you think? You know, I've thought about this before. Mm-hmm. Again, it might sound inconsequential, but it was a genuine thought. Okay. And it was that, how come after our wedding, how come we don't go to our own house to have sex? Why do we have to go to a hotel? Like, Good question. Like, what was the force about going to Edinburgh? We left Birmingham, go to Edinburgh to go and have honeymoon. What was the stress of the travel for? Mm. But we could just be in each other's... Let me not say it. But we could just be together <laughs> <laughs> and just have... Be in our own space mm-hmm. and have fun, Yeah. so to say. I did think about it, but obviously I didn't want to spoil the ambience of, of the... Oh, how yeah. are we going to Edinburgh to have a honeymoon and mm. things? But the, I, I think I'm talking because the, my nature, my kind of person would have preferred just being in our house together and life begins. Like, we don't have to add any extra bits or things. And if I remember correctly, it's... actually, you were the one that was pushing for us to go somewhere. But anyways, I yeah, mean, that's, I did. That, that's I did. my... <laughs> I did push for it. <laughs> that's but then my... I thought about, like, why am I pushing that's for it? That's my recollection, today? yeah. Yes, I know uh, I booked it. You were, yeah, you, were you, you literally saying, booked it. And I didn't even know there was know. there was such a need <laughs> in that sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, 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 that's exciting. Uh, I mean, I'm glad for Kwame and his fiancé. And we're excited for this union. I can tell from the kind of conversations, I mean, someone that would think this far and ask mm. this kind of questions. I can only imagine the kind of investments that you've made in other areas of your relationship. Mm. And I'm glad and excited to see the new family God is about to birth yeah. through you and your fiancé. And we wish you a very lovely, happy married life. In they don't marry yet. Yeah, in advance. <laughs> happy relationship. And if life. there is, um, I mean, through the same... Avenue that they reached out to us. If there's a way you could reach out to let us know when the date is coming, like when the date is fixed, if there's a way we could be of support to your wedding, we will be glad to do that. My wife and I. see this to spend. <laughs> Pounds can be converted to CDs, can't it? Money is global fluid. these days. Money, money is free. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to have CDs. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. What I have can can be converted. I'm so to proud CDs. of myself. I no get me and spend CDs. It would have because been a dis a service to my church in Birmingham if I don't know that. Can you have spend CDs? 
<laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, me too. Um, so thank you so much, um, Kwame, for that question. And hopefully you find our response. Uh, I, 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 as a part of me that feels like we've taken it a little bit too light-hearted. Mm. But indeed, that's because we see it as a light-hearted question. Mm. Um, so we, we really appreciate the question and acknowledge um, reaching out. So thank you for that. And any concluding thoughts? Thank you very much for listening today. Yeah, so thanks so much for tuning in and hopefully we'll catch up again next week for yes. another episode of Not Alone Today podcast. I remain your one and only Joseph. Are you there, one and only, though? Okay, I'm I not. I was going to say one and only host, no one and only Joseph. Well, I'm not the only host. You are, and I'm the co- one and only co-host. Fama. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay till next time when we come your way again um remember you're not alone today god bless you bye